one year ago, that exact spot Christopher Lloyd was in. What a historic moment. Right there, he said, Piranha. So I have returned from fanboy, uh, <clears throat> there we go, returned from fanboy, uh, I only went, I didn't go the whole weekend, I only went for Saturday, and uh, I think I did pretty good today, and missed a couple, uh, but I only had like a, an hour left, so I'm appreciative for what I got, and I'll get the rest sometime in another future in other events, so we're going to go through what I got here. So kicking off here, first one we got here is the John Reese Daves Sala Funko signed. Really nice is the one went straight to him because I knew it was going to be really long for him because um, you know he's been there for a while and also because of Lord of the Rings. So he was mixed in with all the Lord of the Rings cast and that was the most sought after um, for this weekend. Very long lines, so I went through opening and at ten. He got there around 11, stayed in there till about 1 or 2. Um, so, But, you know, definitely worth it. He's a very nice gentleman. Very respectful and kind and you know, very funny as well. Uh, there he goes. Got it personalized there. So don't tell the elf. Very nice. I like the red there. He even put the character name as well. So very nice here. So that was nice. Indy! Right there, so. Yes, this is probably one of my most rememberable from today. Uh, very nice. It'll definitely make you smile. You know, he'll even tickle you a little bit to even, you know, increase the smile on the picture. Make re make really sure that you look happy and enjoy your time. So, uh, it's definitely worth the wait for this one. Uh, he's super nice. Let me down in the comments, what did you think of Dial of Destiny? I thought it was pretty good. Down, I did get my first photo op at a convention. That first was the honor of Wayne Knight. Very nice. You know him, Newman. Dennis Nedry. Yada, yada, yada. You know him. So there you go. Very nice there. Professional photo. Two autographs, but decided to stick with the one. Probably get that one in a later event if he's somewhere else. I did get the Dennis Nedry sign right there. Also, again, I like the red. It really matches the Jurassic Park, so that was a good pick for him. And, uh, yes, yeah, so this was this was one of my more excited ones for this weekend. Very uh, childhood. and Loved him in the Toy Story 2 as Al. I, I wish there was an Al's Toy Barn. That would be really cool if there actually was an Al's Toy Barn. Um, but loved Jurassic Park, so I had to get this on. Um, very worth it. Uh, had this 
this set right here, this whole Jurassic Park Funko set, I was really excited and had to get when it first came out. I can't believe it's been so long, 2018, since these came out for the 25th anniversary. Wow, just can't believe it's been that long already, five years. But got almost a complete set. I think I just need the the Tyrannosaurus, but uh, really nice to finally get that autographed after all these years. So that's amazing. A little bit of childhood increase there. So very nice as well. A little bit quicker for him, but and seems like a nice guy, you know. The, Seems like a, a genuine smile. So, there we go. Really nice. I have a legend. Glenn Randall Jr., the stuntman for Return of the Jedi, and many more. Rage of the Lost Ark from Indiana Jones. It's a... Yep. A lot of, a lot of other great stunt work there. Got the Boba Fett signed from uh, the Return of the Jedi. It's the stunts he did with the, the classic... Um, Saw, uh, Sarlacc pit death where he's flying off to his death rolling down in the pit. I guess I just wouldn't say death because, you know, he he, um, he lived, but for back then, his death. So, really cool. Signed it in the green there, right across the top. Even went right there. So, there we go. Very nice to get that a stunt legend. Look like a normal DVD. It may look like a normal DVD, but look at that. Boom. Kevin Nash right on the back there with him and Tom Jane fighting. Thomas Jane was there last year. I did see his panel, but didn't get to get into his line. So if he does come back eventually, I can get him there. But that was nice. Kevin Nash right there in white with the fight scene there. And uh, I did ask him about that scar because if you guys know, he did get uh, actually stabbed in that movie um, accidentally with the knife that malfunctioned. So, uh, but he says uh, it's a... Minute scar, so it's it's a small scar now, so not really much there, but really nice. Hope to get Thomas Jane on here in the future as well. So time was crunch crunching close. I had about an hour and a half um, to get somebody else because I can only I only could do it for today, uh, Saturday. So I, as you see in that, I was in line for Holly Maria Combs. I guess she was on break or something. I see her, like, sitting in the window. She must have been, like, taking a break and all. Uh, but she was up there for a good bit. I was standing in line for a while. Um, but, so I had to get out of line to at least get somebody to finish up today. So we did finish off with the great Sam Whitwer. And I was the only one um, currently in that line that didn't have a Star Wars thing to sign. It was, it was all Darth Maul pops everywhere. I looked at the front... Front of me, Darth Maul. Back to me, Darth Maul. Fun. They were all like the same Funko Pop as well. So I was a little bit different there. I really enjoy the mist. So also get Tom Jane on this as well in the future too. So there it is right there. Sam Whitmer. Very good movie. And the item that wiped me out here, the dude Funko Pop. You know I love the big Lebowski. Also has the pop protector. So and super excited to see it. This is a, I can't believe I'm actually in front of it here. I like the the rug style in the background, but uh, this seems like it's an older set, so it's it's a I think it's vaulted, so it's also harder to find. Cannot find it in stores, so there you go. Now, and I seen at the bottom immediately thought, oh, this is gonna be two hundred dollars. Um, I wouldn't be having it if it was that that. I wouldn't be having it in front of me if it was that much. So I didn't know I was actually gonna get this. It's, uh, Cheaper than I thought it was going to be, but also the most I've ever paid for a Funko Pop. So, come with a protector. So, really great to see it. I love this great end off to the convention, and uh, really great to add it to the collection. So, I've got some autographed Funko Pops for the collection now, and also the dude. If I ever meet Jeffrey <laughs> Jeffrey Lebowski, if I ever meet the dude himself. Jeff Bridges, there you go. So, get that vaulted pop sign. So, I don't normally do that because, you know, I don't think uh, Funko should be more than, you know, 15, 10 to 15 dollars. But this is what I've been looking for, and I really love the Big Lebowski. So, I was like, okay, you know, I'll make that my exception. But, so, hopefully, I can find the rest of the set right there, especially the main three Walter and then Donnie. 
So there you go, I didn't get to get Holly Marie Combs, Mindy Cohen, or Larry Thomas, but really great day. Got some great people, so overall, I'm happy with it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll leave you with some other pictures as well with some other, you know, cosplayers and just every picture that I, that I took from it. So stay tuned. Go check out, if you want more convention videos, the last year's Fanboy, which I, I got to remaster that. I, I had low storage, so it, it really wasn't the best quality-wise. So I'll have to remaster that, but you can go check that out. Uh, really nice. That was my first ever convention. Fun fact there. Also met Christopher Lloyd on that one. So it was really great for the, my first convention. So, yeah, go check out that one. Uh, also, Atlanta. Uh, there's some great Walking Dead people I met uh, back in February. And then my newest one, the Denver, Colorado, if you want to go check that out. Um, just this past week. So I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you like the movie content. All types of content. Food, gaming, whatever you want. I got it for all your entertainment. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I'm going to find a place to put these now. yippity doo -dah, you made it through another one. So here's some some bonus things that I brought. Uh, in case I wanted to get some of the Willy Wonka cast there on that. And also some Seinfeld for Larry Thomas there. This is the, the season there right there. It's got the, the shop there. So that would be really nice right there. So, so yeah. Here's some other pictures. You know I had to get a picture of Wario, my favorite. So I did get one other celebrity, but I had to cut it out of this video just in case that person is watching this that I got the autograph for as a surprise. So, yeah. Maybe in a future video I'll, uh, I'll reveal that after I give that autograph away.